everyone. It is miserable in Philly. I didn't realize we were um, getting rain. And I remembered to turn my earbuds off. So we shouldn't have that problem. I should be heard clearly today. I don't have coffee. I have tea. And I am feeling better. Thank you. I mean, I woke up this morning starving. And my husband isn't here. He's at the men's conference. So it's just us. He won't be in the background. I think everybody slept in today. Good morning, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. You can't catch my bugs through the screen. I have my membership linked at the top if anybody wants to become a member of the Gossip Girls. We'll do, um, I found a little story on, it's not an update, it's just, I mean, it's an update, but it's not really an update on Kate's, oh, excuse me, on Kate's, um, you know, since her announcement yesterday, I'm still very sad about that. I really was sad. I cried. I'm not going to lie, I cried. Hi, Fancy was my name. Good morning. Tater, you've been up since 530? Yeah, we got, we got, I don't know if there were storms. Harley's over there. She's on the bed. She gets scared when it's, um, when it's raining. So, happy Saturday. We made it. Another week. Um, so... You guys, I'm still very saddened, but to hear the news, I've been thinking about it, and uh, it's crazy to hear, it's crazy to hear the spins on things. Like, they, she didn't have emergency surgery. It was a planned surgery for, abdomin for something abdominal. It wasn't an emergency surgery. And they didn't, you know, go in because they thought it was cancer. They went in for this procedure and then after it was successful, found the cancer. And I also want to correct myself. Um, I keep saying Charles has pancreatic cancer. I swear I don't know where I got that from. But he, it's they're making it very clear that it's an undisclosed cancer. So I don't know what he has. I don't know where the hell I got pancreatic from. So there's that. I was like, well, I don't want, I don't want to be bitching about these people. Yeah, that's way better. Um, I don't want to be bitching about these people that are putting out fake news and I'm sitting here telling everybody he's got pancreatic cancer. The hell? So welcome in everyone. I, uh, I have some things I want to talk about that's going on in the, in the communities that I, that I'm from. So, I want everybody to hear my opinion. She's right under the bed. She must hear. Um... Oh, no. She's squirming around. Uh... Good morning, Harley. Good morning. You want to tell everybody to say, Happy Catterday. What's going on, people? Um... So, you heard colon? See, I heard that it was undisclosed. It's something down there. Hi, Life with Mommy. Harley will be back. So, <laughs> she's such a brat. The other night, I was laying here, and like... I have a king size bed. And when I tell you I sleep on the edge of it, I sleep on the edge of it. I don't know why I always did. Like my arm hangs off the side. I, that's just how I've always been. And she jumped up on my face to get to the pillow so she could take over the pillow. There's an entire king size bed that she can access, but she had to access it through my head. I was so mad. 
she does that often. So, all right, come on, calm your whiskers. So anyway, yeah, I, what? I know, I know. Yes, hi. Everybody saw you, you made your entrance. So I want to talk about things that are going on in the community and what's happening and stuff like that, because this is crazy. This is crazy, people. Now, listen, I can't hold you, so you got to do what you need to do. Come on, you don't have your underwear on. Get your ass beat. I can't hold you, so you slide off the roof. She's a mess. Anyway, um, there's a bunch of people talking shit in the, in the whatchamacallit. Like, people, I know that discords are bad. Like, I have a little one that's not active, but people are in there, and they just put, like, funny little, you know, little pictures and say good morning to everyone. It's, like, real chill. It's not, it's like my chat. We're chill over here. We just, you know, say hello. We, like, you know, are actually adults, and we adult nicely together. Harley, I'm saying something important. Come on. So, Eggy! Good afternoon. Eggie, we're very sad to hear the news, so we might be talking about that. Fancy, yeah, I mean, Discord is bad. And, but here, see, I'm in, I mean, obviously, a couple of Discords. There's one that we, it's our safe space, like JJJ made, hi, Ocean Tide, made for our, um, you know, just to go in there and stuff like that. But you know that there's going to be, there's going to be people in there that are moles, right? I mean, it's anywhere you go. But the two, like mine, I know those that are not active in my Discord. I actually know them personally. And um, the ones that I've added recently, I feel very confident in saying that they're not jerks. That they, they don't cause trouble. Like they want to get away from the trouble. But there are some that are just like causing havoc and they're actually, ow, son of a gun. Do you need your clips called again? I mean, your claws clipped again. I just did it. So like, I don't understand what the concept is or why you go around and talk shit about other people. Like, creators are going to get it all the time. Like, I put my face out here. Like, okay, call, like, I've been called fat. And you know what? I don't care. I'm on, I'm on cam. Like, duh. I, I'm not hiding it. When I started my channel, I knew that I was going to be on camera because I wanted to do my makeup and try on hauls and do all that stuff. But there are a few supporters that I had that I don't have anymore because they were talking shit. And I'm just like, well, what did I do to you? And then they follow the creators that are continually talking shit about other creators. And you're eventually going to get found out. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and just keep it moving because we're over here doing documentaries in Catterday. In girl world, in the drama community, in, in all of it. I'm just like, what the hell? It's everywhere. I mean, it's the internet. You're going to have people that like have no life. And, you know, that's just what they want to do is they just want to keep it going. Like I was talking to someone last night and I said, I'm going to let the professionals handle like bomb and bot and all that. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want that. Like I, you'll see me in those chats because obviously it's drama and I want to know what the hell's going on. But over here, I want to just have fun on Saturday, you know, talk about some gossip and uh, do our documentaries on Thursday. I thoroughly enjoy doing our Thursdays. I still owe you his bet. Not bet. Why do I keep calling her bet? Lucille Ball. I still owe Lucille Ball. We'll get to that. We're going to talk about when you guys want to do it. Who talks to Oh, you got burnt in Telegram. With Yo, listen, here's the thing with her. I hate that I have to keep my ring light on. I'm going to turn it off while I talk to you, okay? Because uh, the glasses are driving me nuts. 
You can see me anyway. That's good. Um, I went into bots. I found her because I was like, if you go back on my channel, I was reacting to Michelle when she was just doing her cooking. And my friends, because our, our character is, she's boring. So I found Michelle and I'm like, well, watch this bitch. I mean, she's drunk cooking. I mean, how can this can't, this can't be good, but it'll be great for us to watch. So I was reacting to her and that's right before she lost her channel. So I'm like, what the hell? So I, I was in there. The one, I think she, it was when she was making the cabbage soup and she was coughing in it. Cause I actually said, oh, that looks like it's going to be good. And she said something to me and then I got sent to the attic. So Bot was in there and she put in there, come to my channel. And I quick looked it up and I went over to her chat. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I had a bagel this morning. It's the first solid food I've had in a while. I had mashed potatoes yesterday at 10.30 a.m. So it's been like, you know, 24 hours. And it's it's okay. I just have the hiccups. So anyway, um, I was in bots and I was watching and she's like covering Michelle and I was kind of seeing how she was covering it and stuff like that. And I was asked like if, you know, I don't like Michelle. If I like Michelle, that's not the place for her. And I'm like, it's not the channel for me. And I was like, no, I don't like her. So she was supportive in that she would drop my channel. I didn't ask for that. I don't go to channels that I enjoy asking for them to drop my channel, right? Because I just want to be a part of the, the conversation. If you know I have a channel and you want to subscribe, I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. So she did. She dropped my channel and that's how I met a couple of you guys. And I caught on real quick. I caught on real, real quick of who she was. I just had this feeling and I was telling someone else, I'm like, look, you got to be careful with her. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Good morning, tea girl. Happy Catter Day. So I told somebody, I was like, you got to pay attention to this bitch because she's a scammer. You better watch out. She's like, no, I don't know. I'm on the fence. And I'm like, oh, you better watch out. She's, she's going to do dirty deeds. So I backed off of her. I backed away. Because I just knew. I, she lives not too far from me. And I just know that area. And I just know how most of those. Like how most of that uh, part of the the area is. And I was just like this is not going to be good. I didn't see what she did come in. But I feel bad for everybody that got burnt by her. Um, but the point is. Is that we all go there to get the drama. We don't want to be burned by creators. And that's. uh her name's Best of Truths T. She covered Michelle Sabate. I don't know if you know who that is. Uh, it's like the bombshell world. But so there was a lot of people that I met through there. And it just, I just want everybody to know, like, come over here. It's chill. We have a very small crowd. We get to talk to one another, you know. I'm going to put a counter up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put a little Harley counter up. And each time you do this, we're going to click it. This is now the third time you've done this. Where's Alyssa? Because Alyssa has been, you know, telling me to say hi to her. So anyway, that's my whole soapbox. I just don't understand why people are going around. And if you hear something about me, ask me, ask me. If someone said I said something, ask me because it's a lie. Because I talk positive about people, except for like bomb. Okay. I don't, I don't be liking bomb. No, Ocean Tide, good for you. But yeah, I was saying like, you know, I got, you get caught up in the wrong people to find the good people. I swear that's, um, I heard, uh, I swear that's how it goes. Like you just get caught up in the the wrong crowd in instead of in order to find the good peeps. And you're the good peeps. I know. Everybody loves Harley. The other ones are just chilling in the other room. Their bellies were fed early this morning. So they're out on their, you know, siesta. 
So that's it. And I just, I was thinking about that and how like some people are being mistreated now by other creators. And then I like kind of been looking at things and I'm like, oh, well, I noticed that this person's in their chat and that's probably why. And I'm talking in circles because I don't want to talk shit about people. Because I'm not coming up here, you know, calling people out. I'm just saying in general. It's just how it goes in general. So there's that. We have too much going on. You guys that are over in the D.C., you got to catch up with stuff that's going on in the other community that I'm in. Because there's all kinds of shit popping off over there. Right? There's all kinds of lawsuits. Hussie's, you know, suing people. He's, uh, it's all just a mess. And the thing is with Hussie's, he's already had a legal suit. And they talk shit on him and it wasn't supposed to be that way. And now he's, you know, coming back and he's like, they broke the DNA or NDA. And he's got every right to do that. And I'm Team Hussie. You go. You go and you get them. Yeah. They're, they're talking. Sh they're, they're continuing the same behavior. They stopped. Learned their lesson. And now they're back to doing it again. So he issued a, uh, he issued a suit. And he should. Because the things that he's being, the things that are being said about him will, can get him hurt. They're assholes. Anyway. That's my soapbox. I think it's because I'm feeling better and I just came off of a, you know, a three-day bed binge. I was down and out. I threw up in my trash can on Wednesday at work and I had to leave. And that's just how it's been for three days. I can never keep my... Uh, I know. Well, Aggie, it's because you go touch grass and you have things to do. So, anywho, you guys are always welcome over here and it's a safe space. And, like, you know, the people that just, like, mod for me, they just worry about trolls. That's all they do. I don't have to drop my links. They don't have to do any of that. Shit's pinned to the top. You want to become a member? I appreciate it. If not, I appreciate just hanging out. But my mods aren't in, like, no, they don't do that. Like, they're, it's not a job. It's, they chill out and they help me, you know, when I'm rambling on these tangents, make sure that, you know, the trolls aren't in here. Because I don't want people in here, like, causing trouble. So, and I have good mods. Keep those people out. My husband buys this tea. <sighs> he didn't get that tea yet. Bigelow? Is that what the hell that says? I think it says Bigelow. It's green tea classic. It's so good with honey. He didn't get that tea that tea girl mentioned the other couple of weeks ago. He hasn't gotten that yet. In fact, I forgot about it, to be honest. Yeah, my belly hurts, so I'm not doing coffee. I think coffee will take me way over the edge again, and I'm just getting better, so I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to have to cut the live off because i got to go to the bathroom. Thanks, Life with Mommy. Alyssa, um, you missed Harley. She's been up and down. She's right here. I'm sure she'll be back. Good morning. That's right, Tater. Why I'm foul. Is that what you want to hear? No, I've been throwing up. Like I've been throwing up. It's not fun. I got the Zofran, so the nausea's going away. <clears throat> Alyssa, she's right here. She'll be back. She's right there on the bed. Well, it's my stomach, not my bowels. Eggy, don't, don't be starting to hear your shit. I, I want egg toast right now. Okay, Alyssa. We'll be here. We'll be here. So. Oh. Sorry. Well, how the hell did I know? You were, I was just talking about my, my issues. 
So I wanted to just, uh, the AP put out something two hours ago. And, you know, now everybody's a canine. Now everybody is, you know, acting like adults. London AP, support poured in from around the world Saturday for Kate, the Princess of Wales, after she, relieved, she revealed in a candid video message that she's undergoing chemotherapy for cancer following major abdominal surgery. The Princess, uh, the princess video in which she spoke about the huge shock and incredibly tough couple of months for her family after the diagnosis came after weeks of a frenzied speculation on social media about her health and well-being. Now, see, it wasn't just about her health and well-being. Everybody was speculating that he was out there cheating on her. So, no, 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 no. Put that in there, too, because people are bad. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. Kate said in the video, which was recorded Wednesday in Windsor. So remember I said that they were supposed to come out Tuesday. I had a, a thing. They said they were going to come out with um, a big announcement on Wednesday, but we didn't get it on Wednesday and that came out Friday. So that's what it was supposed to be, I guess. Hmm. It has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louie in a way that they, is appropriate for them. And to reassure him that I'm going to be okay, she added, referring to her three children. K42 did not say what type of cancer was discovered after she underwent what she described as major abdominal surgery. She said she is now in the early stages of preventative chemo and is getting stronger every day. The Royal said it had been thought that her condition was non-cancerous until post-surgery tests revealed the diagnosis. The announcement will at least partly tamp down the intense and sometimes fantastical speculation and conspiracy theories about her condition that have multiplied on social media since Kensington Palace announced in mid-January that she's been hospitalized for unspecific abdominal surgery. Hashtags including we love you, Catherine, get well soon, Catherine, were trending Friday on X, formerly Twitter, while political leaders, celebrities, and cancer survivors sent message of support. She has been subject she's been subjected to intense scrutiny and has unfairly been unfairly treated by certain sections of the media around the world and on social media, Prime Minister uh, Rishi Shanak said. I don't know how to pronounce his name. She has shown tremendous bravery with her statement. U.S. President Biden posted on social media saying he and the First Lady Jill join millions around the world in praying for a full reco recovery, Princess Kate. It's Princess Catherine, and that's a huge debate, too. Everybody's screaming, stop calling her Kate. But she wants to be called Kate. She was asked by someone, what do I call you? And she said, just Kate. So that's enough with that nonsense. We know she's Princess Catherine, soon to be a Queen Catherine, but she wants to be called Kate, okay? King Charles III, who is also undergoing treatment for an unspecified type of cancer, said in a statement that he was so proud of Catherine for her courage in speaking as she did. Prince Harry and wife Meghan, who have been estranged from the royal family since their move to California in 2020, said they wished health and healing for Kate and the family. Until Friday, there had been little information about Kate's condition and her months long disappearance from public view, fueled by a fury of rumor mongering about the missing future queen. They have really good pictures on here. Jeez, oh man. <sighs> Officials had only said that Kate's surgery in January was successful and recuperation would keep the princess away from the public duties until April. Feeling of distrust about the royals gained ground earlier this month after Kate acknowledged that she had edited an official photo released on Mother's Day. The photo, which was meant to calm and reassure the public, triggered a backlash after the Associated Press 
and other news agencies retracted the image over concerns it was manipulated. Even in a video published last week by The Sun, TMZ, that appeared to show Kate and William shopping near their home did not dispel the negative coverage, with some armchair detectives refusing to believe the video showed Kate at all. And there's more to the story. Now, we're over here being armchair, armchair de de uh, detectives, too. But we were never negative. I got to say that. Like, we, we were sitting there going back and forth about the affair because it was being put out there and we had to talk about it. So... I never had a P.O. box. No. Um, we didn't do that nonsense over here. We were, in fact, against the affair. So there's that. Okay, let me catch up on you guys over here. Because that's just that's just the, you know, telling everybody what's been going on. I did have to say, remember the whole queen mom never mentioning her colonoscopy bag? She did have something going on. The queen mom was, but I mean, they're people. They're going to get sick, right? I agree, Eggy. When people don't tell what's going on, it just speculates. But in this certain situation with, with her being a mom of little ones, I think that she should have had her privacy. And when she was ready, she was able to come out and tell it herself, which is what happened. But I also think that she was smoked out. I don't think she would have, I, I think she would have waited until after Easter to make the decision or make the announcement because she wanted to enjoy. Good morning, sunshine Susie. You made it. I think they were getting pressured to come out and talk about what was going on. And that's not fair. She didn't, she, she they had to, I mean, she was going to make an announcement, but who knows? Would she have kept the um, cancer thing to themselves? We don't know. We don't know. Cervical, you think, Tater? Well, that's the other thing we were speculating about, like, you know, speculating about, like, what could that be? I, um, well, I mean, you know, yeah, we pay for most of our government, too. She definitely wanted, um, the rumors to stop. Stop. found out this, that, um, you know, homewrecker, almost homewrecker, but we're just going to say, I shouldn't say she's homewrecker because that's not nice. But that Rose that everybody thought she was having that, you know, she, her and uh, William, you know, had the love child and we're going, you know, with one another. She's now under scrutiny because since it came out, like she's, Collected. Hi, friends. She's she collects art and stuff like that. Like their 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 houses, their palace is full of like art and you know all kinds of stuff that dates back centuries. And don't ask me to pronounce the Chinese family that um, they you know bartered with back hundreds of years ago. But they're saying that she might have stole some of that. They like not her. But the family might have stole some of that art that she has in their palace. She might be in trouble. Big trouble. I gotta keep my eye out on that because now, Rose, you got yourself into it. So you should have put you should have said something. Should have said, nope, that's not true. Because she didn't come out with a statement. She didn't re release no statement that that's not true. I don't know. Why do you, like, I would be like, nah. -uh. What's going on with mommy? I don't, I don't watch him. I never did. I can't stand the guy. He's a weird one. And then after all his scandals came out, I was like, yeah, see, I told you. Monty is a reactor to uh, Foodie Beauty. But did you spell wrong? Uh, 
right, well, he is perverted. I see, like, everybody here, they don't know what's going on. Like, to talk about these, say, talk about naked and laughing. Yeah, you guys, seriously, like, if you're tired of Bot and Michelle and, um, I don't watch Michelle. Like, I don't want to watch anything that is reacting to her or whatever. Like, I can hear in, in passing that she's out of rehab. She's back on the internet. I can hear all that, whatever. But I'm not going to, I cannot, I cannot stand her voice. And I don't understand how three people with the most annoying voices are in the same community. Because Bot Bomb and Michelle, they chat my ass. They have the most annoying voices, but I can't watch anything with Michelle. She just, um, she's a very sick woman. She brings a lot of this crap on herself, but she just needs to realize that, uh, get off the internet. That's all. That's it. That's it. And that's all. It is the DC. How? How Ocean Tide? T girl bot is from Wilmington, Delaware. You know. I have more tape. Where's Alyssa? Because I might spill this and she likes when I spill shit. I'm gonna be all hopped up on tape. Mm-hmm. See? We know. And I lived in Wilmington, Delaware for a hot minute with my friend. When I had my nervous breakdown in 2005, and, uh, you know, I was like, I want to live with family. So I went and lived with my friend. And I didn't like it. I was there for, like, almost six months, and I said, I got to get the hell out of here. I don't know what's going on around here. And, and, just quick story on Delaware. There are no taxes there. Like, no taxes whatsoever. So, their public transit only works. Like, it's, it runs, but it only runs from a certain time in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. So, if you miss your 930 bus, you got to find a ride. So, her, like, you know, her talking about public transportation, she a lie. She was out there driving the other night drunk, but I think she didn't. She didn't, um, she didn't deny that she was out there drink, uh, driving. They all deny they're doing something online. I don't know. I'm over here, look, drinking my tea, okay? Imagine! All right. Well, listen, kick your feet up and, uh, enjoy my annoying voice. I mean, I don't squeal like, like bot. That shit was funny the other night, though. When snow triggered that bitch into like a whole hour and uh, Isaac got in on her. How do you not know you're being trolled? Like he was hitting her with all kinds of digs and she had no idea. She just had no idea. He was calling her all kinds of shit and she was so wound up and triggered. She didn't catch on to anything. I found that. Robin! Better weird than ever. Yes. Isaac Guest. You know him, T? He travels around the communities and he finds people. <sighs> Tater, it was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. We like Isaac. I do. I don't care for the fact that he does intros for an hour and a half. Like, I like songs and stuff like that in the beginning and I got to work on mine or whatever. Like, before we go on for documentary. But here's the thing. I want to do, like, real music. And then, like, well, it doesn't matter because I'm already copyrighted. Like, I get copyrighted every time I do a documentary. So, it wouldn't matter if I had a song, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, there's so many songs I'll be listening to. I'll be like, I want this as my intro. And I'm like, no, I want this as my intro. So, I can't, I can't figure it out. And I can't do all those fun graphics and stuff like that. So you'll just get like wheel with you know stream coming soon. I don't know. 
Oh, he's got them down to 30 minutes. Listen, I love the music he plays. That's not the problem. It's just like, I'm like, I go back and forth and I'm like, when's he coming on? When is this man? We're having a full on concert before he comes on and, uh, you know, attacks people, trolls people. So anyway, yes, we're talking about Isaac S. He went on, uh, the girl in Delaware's panel because she got triggered. Someone went in and called her a liar. And then she went spilling. No, 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 no. You're not going to call me a liar. Bitch, you are a liar. You are. How are you getting out of that? And at what what lie do you want that Snow to tell you you lied about? From soup to nuts, you lied. I mean, it just... Guess Mob is still a thing. Uh, according... So when he came out, it was a couple of months ago, he said he was coming out of retirement because Savage Live went and uh, dog whistled him back in to go after Bombshell. So yeah, he's back. And I think he's doing like Mark Terry. I don't even know who that person is. I don't want to get involved in another train wreck. I got Naked and Laughing, DC, Hussy, Gigi. Um, of course, I'm keeping my eye on Chantel, Bomb and Bot. So I got enough train wrecks. I don't, I don't got, and then Flava introduced somebody. I had to get out of there. That woman dancing and showing her crotch at 60 some years old. I was just like, oh, hell, I'm out. I tapped out. Tapped out. Chronic. Chronic, I told everybody earlier in the stream. Um, I threw up in my trash can at work on Wednesday. And I've been sick. Today I woke up and I'm feeling pretty good. I have my, I don't have coffee. I have tea. So I didn't make game night, but I'll be there Sunday for the new, uh, women's crime log or, or whatever it is. That game is awesome. I still can't find you things because my eyeballs are bad, <clears throat> but I will be there. <clears throat> Excuse me while I cough everywhere. I am definitely feeling better. I know, T-Girl, you found your way over there. It's fun. The little games, like you guys on Thursdays, uh, Chronic plays these games. Like, guess it. Uh, it's kind of like Family Feud. And Deal or No Deal. Hangman. It's called Kangaroo, Kangaroo or something like that. Hangaroo. It's a little kangaroo who gets snippy when you don't find the letter. Good games, fun times, and a nice, small, chill chat where everybody, you know, everybody likes one another. There's no drama. Did you see now last night, the highlights were hilarious with that mask on? I didn't see it. I See, here's the thing. Like, if someone streams for 12 hours, there's no way. Um, How do you find the highlights? And there's no, there's no real clipper channels that are like real, cli like real short and sweet. I'm not watching 25 minutes of that mess. You went and watched, didn't chat. However, I did hit that like. Tater on Chronic, is that who you're talking about? It's, it's fun. She does like silly shit in the, um, in the, in the, um, in the beginning, she always finds like a, now she's got me following some damn dog, Luna. I missed what you said on that panel, but they were all weird. I know, Chronic, you're in it. Oh, I don't know how to do Reddit. How do I do Reddit? I don't know how to do Reddit. I love that we have a like, I love that we have a mixed crowd in here, but the one side doesn't know who the other side is talking about. And like, I, I should probably do like an introductory, like, here's this person. If you want to be interested in it, I can send you to the, to the chat, you know, to the channels that cover this one and vice, you know, do it for both of you, both the communities that are in here. Mark Terry is old boy, apparently. So Isaac Guest is back. He triggered 
somebody that we're watching currently who's a scam artist. He triggered the shit out of her. And, uh, you know, T-Girl's been around. T-Girl knows everything and everyone. Look at her. I heard that name, but I don't know who that is. And Tina from uh, The Neighbor of Angry Grandpa, that's all I know about her. And that she don't have leg. Because Savage told her, like, Savage went in on her one night. I'm telling you, when Savage goes off, Savage was funny last night. I mean, they're always funny. But both of them were on a tear, her and Shannon, and that was that. She was triggered, canine. When they go in and they're pissed off and they drag someone, it is friggin' hilarious. So she was talking about, um, I don't even know who the people they were talking about. But they mentioned this paperclip Tina, and that's what Flava was watching over there on Rumble. I, I had to I had to tap out. I, I This woman was up there dancing, and I'm just like, first of all, you can't dance. And why are you showing your crotch? Because that's gross. We don't need to see that. Okay? I mean, no worries over here about that happening to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He drags them. He does drag them. And I don't know why they keep going after his personal life. He's already told everybody what's going on with him. Like, hello. Uh, T girl, when's it? How long is it going to rain? I mean, I have stuff I could do in the house, but I didn't realize that it was going to. I didn't know it was raining today. I don't watch the weather. I just go outside and I'm like, oh, it's nice out. Or, oh, it's raining. And then I walk to my car and I'm just like, fuck it, I ain't going back in and get my umbrella. And I'll just get wet. Uh, chronic stay away from him. I wouldn't like, I, the people that he, he talks about, I think I'll freaking die. Great. Okay. Well, I got stuff to do in the house. I don't like, I don't, I, I just, you know, I, I like him. I stay high and all that. I keep my, I keep my nose clean. Okay. I don't be like doing some shenanigans. It's going to rain all day. I feed straight cats and it's mudslide in my backyard. Oh, yeah, but you know what? They're, they're, you, they're still getting fed, so you're doing a good thing. I'm sorry to hear about the kitten. I was hoping that we were going to have um, an addition to the family. Yeah, I don't think he would, I don't think he would harm anybody over, um, cause we all found him through Savage and he respects Savage. He respects Savage. And she's another one that's everywhere. You never know when she's going to pop up. When I watched Shelly, uh, No Man, No Slave, I was in there one day, I saw Savage Live Media come up and I was like, what the, how did you find this channel? She knows everything. She knows everything. She knows everywhere to go. She's always going in uh, different chats. She's good times. She's good times. I was just bouncing back and forth last night, and I was like, "All right, I gotta go to bed. I need to. I I need to go to bed." Um, I thought we'd have some just like uh. I thought I'd pull up people today because there's just, it was so sad yesterday. Mm. Yeah. The boy. No madness. Listen, I really supported her. I, I bought stuff like I have her rose bar soap and I love it. Um, but I can't support her anymore. I cannot support her anymore. I, I just can't. She's a walking contradiction and she's condescending and she projects, um, she's fear mongering. Like, you know, every once in a while the sky's falling and we're going to go off grid and you know, all that stuff. And I'm just like, hi, Alyssa. 
Her name's uh, Shelly. I just, um, I used to like her and then I started realizing how condescending she really is. And then that, uh, that channel came out. I don't think she's racist, but I think she does say shit that she doesn't realize she's saying and she refuses to take accountability for it. And she'll snap at the, you know, if, if you don't think if you kind of correct her, there's a couple of times I tried to correct her about YTR, that friggin' uh, loaf, but plug, should I say? Mm hmm. Sorry, I have ice. <sighs> you used to watch her and I bought stuff too, but I stopped supporting her as well for the same reasons. Yes. Yeah. Her memberships are $9.99 because she's accessing her life. Like, what do you mean? Because, like, I, I, I wouldn't up my memberships and say, well, you're accessing my life. Like, I'm going to, I, the weather's nice. I was, I, again, I was talking to someone last night and I told them that, um, I was talking to my husband when he got done work. And we were sitting there and I was telling him, like, you know, it seems like everybody likes these documentaries. And I keep putting, you know, what I'm doing is I'll put the polls up and everybody votes on what. Because the majority, I want, you know, I want you guys involved on who we watch. So he's like, oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Whatever. And uh, I said, someone, someone always guesses who's going to go on the freaking poll. It's all good. It's all good. But, um, you know, I said, I really thought Grace Kelly was going to win. I really did. I was dead set. It's either going to be Faye Dunaway or Grace Kelly this week. That's who I thought we were watching. I didn't see Lucille Ball coming out of the, she came out of the gate. And I'm fine with that because I wouldn't have put it on there if I wasn't interested. So he's like, Grace Kelly. I said, yeah, I really thought she was going to win. He's like, oh, well, let me research that because what we can do now it's we, what we can do is um, we can drive by her, her house in Philadelphia and we could show everybody, you know, where she lived. And I think that's awesome. My husband is like, you know, he's always up for a road trip. So we're going to go see Grace Kelly's house. We're going to do a road trip. And now that it's getting nicer out, we're going to go take, you know, we'll go on, my husband will drive us somewhere and I'll do a live and we'll like, you know, go around the towns. He does that. Like, that's what we do. We, we've we done it in the past if you look on my channel. So why would I charge $10 a month to do that? I just want you guys to be able, like, follow along. Like, I'd love to do a live while I'm driving around and stuff like that. I can't read the chat. I wouldn't. So you guys would have to talk to one another while you're in there. Uh, You know, while you're watching me drive around to different places. But you just got a copyright strike on what? Oh, that you did a year and a half ago. Oh, oh. You want to check out Yeah, Devious goes into um she's been trying to concentrate on like the Kensington area. Uh, it's a very sad area, but uh, I don't know. Internet disconnected. So anyway, there are two different sides of that. Uh... <laughs> the internet. Listen, I remember to disconnect my earbuds this week, okay? We didn't go an hour and a half into me realizing the earbuds were connected. The internet just went down, so I'm using my data. So anyway, um, you can go there and it's like, you know, entertainment. It's not entertainment, but there are channels out there that are kind of like poking fun at that situation in Kensington. And then there are channels that are bringing awareness to it because they actually see people that are missing in their family, like 
people from this area go to those channels because they might see a, a, a missing loved one. It's very sad. And that's kind of like what Devious is doing, I think, is bringing like awareness. I, she's not making fun of it at all. Um, but yeah, it does get depressing. It does. And it's right here. In fact, my husband's from Kensington. Like that's where he was born. And he lived there, um, you know, until he was a teenager. So he knows that area in and out. So if we went there, it, I have no desire to go there. But if we went there, he would like be, zzz, zzz, zzz. he knows all the side streets and everything like that. It's sad. It's very sad. I'm more like last year we went to Melissa Gorga's house in at the Shore House. And then we went onto the island and we went to the Jersey Shore. Like this, this TV show, the actual house that they stayed at. We went there. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, she did say she wants to help. It's a lot. It's a lot to help with. I mean, every little bit helps. Um... It's just sad because they're not coherent. So if you wanted to go pass out, like, just say crackers or whatever. If you wanted to go pass out some food or something like that, they're incoherent. They're just bent over and you can't, they can't talk. It's it's really a sad, a sad thing. And I don't know how she could do it. I know that it exists and I would contribute to that. But I couldn't go down and, and actually do it. I, I'm not strong enough to do it. King Charles has pancreatic cancer. Have you heard that too? No. I spread that. I spread that shit. He said now they're saying it's undisclosed cancer. We don't know what it is. I swore I heard pancreatic cancer. That's what I swore I heard. I, I Now they're saying undisclosed. T-Girl, I thought we were going to visit. We're going to do that mummers thing, aren't we? I still, I got to email you. The, Google is blocking T-Girl from contacting me and talking. I just been like, Alyssa, I, I didn't spill anything this time. I am going to go down there to street, ma'am. Got to show everybody what two streets like. Yeah, chronic, they do. Um, chronic, that's where you are. I why well, don't know why I thought you were like up there in like Ohio area. Like I thought that's where you were. I didn't know you were south. She doesn't have Discord. So she got me on IG. And now we know each other's. Well, I know her email. Now I got to email her. I don't know why Google would. I never got an email. Ever. Perfect port. She's right here sleeping. I don't know why she's not. Hey, your friend is in the chat. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come up. She'll be up. She's been summoned. Come on. Are you too tired to jump? Yeah. There she goes. No, she's shy. She's being shy. Are you scared because it's raining? She doesn't like the rain at all. She's like all in a... She said hi. Meow. Meow. 
She is a cutie patootie. There you go, Chronic. All right, you want to go lay down? She's all tense, so she's, like, nervous because it's raining out. She does not like, she doesn't like the rain. Oh, all right. And here we are. He's such a cutie. All right. Come on. Go there. She'll be back now that I got her. See, she'll be up. Um, she slobbers. Does any of your cat slobber? Like when I pet her, that's when she slobbers. I don't like that. That grosses me out. Oh, Chronic, you're not that far. She's in my lap. You're sliding off of the... You're sliding off the pajamas. I don't know what to tell you. All right. Does anybody, seriously, has anybody ever had a cat that like drools? Because she does, she drools. You see, she she still makes biscuits on the... I got her. She was like a little over a pound. I mean, she's a tiny one anyway. But she still makes the biscuits because I think that she was taken from her mommy too soon. And she sucks the blanket. And that drives me nuts. For realsies. Stop! Just stop it. Frankie did that. Who's Big jo Who's Big John? Oh, John Waters? Who's that? I still don't know that. Can you just get on the back of the chair or at least let's compromise and put half of your half there. That's a good compromise. Okay. Oh, all right. No, 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 no. All right. We, cause you're sliding and you're ripping my rope. I don't want that. If the rain starts coming down really hard, she's going to go under the bed. Well, of course, Ginger would know something like that. How do, how do you know all these things? We definitely have to meet. She's going to have all this stuff. She, it, yep, she's right there. No. All right. So let's read some people's stuff. What the? Oh, here we go. So you know the part in people where they have like the weddings and the, you know, all that stuff babies and all that uh 49er fan quarterback brock purdy 24 married his college sweetheart jenna 24 in des moines on march 9th i don't know who country singers are but country singer gary L er, uh gary allen 56 married his longtime love molly congratulations lovebirds They got married on February 5th. Um, why are you telling us now? That should have been like in February, not now. Colombian singer Maloma, 29, and girlfriend Susanna, 
an architect and jewelry designer welcome their first baby paris on march 9th congrats uh david diggs 42 the umbrella academy actress emmy raven lampman announced the arrival of their first child Adam Devane, 40. Chloe Bridges, 32. Welcome their first baby, Beau. Uh, everybody had a first baby. Do you guys watch Sister Wives? Because apparently someone from Sister, Li Sister Wives died. And I don't watch that show, so I don't know. Garrison Brown, he's 25 years old. Oh, he unaligned himself. Did I get stuck again? Because I'm on my my drama. Really, I wasn't synced again? I don't know who that is. I don't re I don't watch those shows. Like I don't watch I used to watch uh 90 Day Fiance, but I only watched the Pillow Talk where the uh previous couples like did the um recap on it. I'm not watching that's like the two hour show. So I didn't watch that. I didn't watch the Thousand Pound Sisters. I got rid of my Netflix so I didn't see Love is Blind. So I don't really know these shows on TV. On March 5th, Sister Wives Cody and Janelle Brown found their son Garrison. What is the deal with that Sister Wives shit? They were spiritually married? There's no spiritually married. Like, I mean, I guess I'm spiritually married to my husband, but we had to put it on paper. The government d requires that shit. But I'll be damned if he goes and marries someone else. No, 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 no. He would never do that. I'm enough for him to handle. Okay, let's just put it that way. She's down there bathing herself. You guys, can I ask a Gen X question? Don't get me started, Alyssa, on the uh, on the changing of the words. Uh, Zeno comes in here every once in a while. He, um, he can't stand that. Like, I'll say totes and stuff like that for, you know, totally. Just because, uh, you know, just because I think it's cute. But I heard Riz the other day and I was like, what the hell is that? I, I really had no idea. And then they were all like, oh, you never heard that at work? I said, no. What does that mean? They said charisma. I think we talked about this because I was pissed off about charisma. You can't take our words away. Like, gen this generation has no idea what the hell the word... <laughs> Not jizz. Um, they don't know what the hell... They don't know charisma. They don't have any. So they can't take it away. Polygamy, the man only has one legal wife. Uh, well, yeah. The Mutters Museum is quite interesting. I, I, I enjoyed it. Especially when, like, because then when you first walk in, that's where all the teeth anomalies are, which is really cool.
Carly, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find out where Alyssa lives. And then I'm going to go and see if she's a better mom to you than I am. Okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a poll and see if Alyssa wants to... I'll split the shipping and handling. How's that? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's such a brat. An acronym. I know. It's an acronym. I, see, I'm telling you, you're sticking to my... I just clipped your claws, too. Talk about... Uh, yeah, that's perfect if you lay there. She is my baby. She's going in the other room. She's probably annoyed with me because, you know, that's how it works when you have a cat. So the Mutter, Mutter's Museum, I can't go in. You're not allowed to tape in there. You're not allowed to film anything because they're people. They're like, they used to be alive. So you have to respect the dead. And I've been to Eastern State. Polygamous are. Could you imagine though? Imagine that. Like, you know, I mean, obviously, you know what you're getting yourself into when you sign up for that. So I guess I can't imagine it because I just ne would never, I would never. No, I wouldn't. I would not do that. I, I, I wouldn't want to. Not even compete with another woman, but I just like get out, get out of our lives. But don't you have to be a polygamist though, chronic? Wouldn't you have to be one to get into that sort of relationship? Look at that. I woke up. I never thought we'd be talking about polygamy. So, you know. We always veer off topic, and I love it. <laughs> Alyssa! I know when you're married, you don't really have to worry about it either. You know, what else? It's just your marriage. I don't know. I really didn't think about that because I would think that the woman is involved in it and she knows what she's getting into. So she would be one as well. And isn't that like, listen, I'm like completely, you know, I'm rude to the whole thing because I'm, it's not my lifestyle, but is there, aren't they mostly like over in like Utah? Isn't that like where like where the Mormons are and stuff like that? There's a lot of polygamists over there. I could be wrong. Yeah. All of the above. Mind control, manipulation, narcissist. Well, he has to be, for sure, because he thinks he can pull off like how many do they get? How like what's the what is there like do they tap off? How many how many wives are you allowed to have? Listen, my husband is a very good man. A very good man. So I'm not even gonna say he's too much to handle. He's got his quirks, I have mine, but that's my soulmate and that's, and he's, he knows I'm his. So that's all we need. We're good. As many as they want. What? He's out here. He can be out there balling with like. Tater, stop lying. How do you even keep up with that? Like that's two months. Each night you're with someone. I can't. Sixty-three? 
And there's like, I mean, they're allowed to do this. Like it's not against the law or anything. I am blown away by that. See, like, this is why I love doing this, because you guys teach me stuff. 63. I got the Googles right here. The practice or custom of having more than one wife or husband at the same time. So there's, there's three different types. Polygamy, or I'm not even saying these words because this is just like, they're poly. So the first poly is practice of one man marrying two or more women. And that's the more common. Then the polyandry is when one woman marries two or more men. And then there's a group marriage which is rarely practiced. Why? So if this guy that was married, Luke, if this guy that was married to, thank you, Life with Mommy, welcome to the girls. Um, if this guy that is married to 63 women, if he bopped her, he, Zeno, we were just talking about you, did you know? So if he bopped her, or each one of them, at the right time. He could have like 63 children or more. I mean that like, what? How do you take care of them? So then she's a single mom. It's basically what she is with a baby daddy. Am I right? I'm not, I don't, I don't agree with that lifestyle. I don't agree with that lifestyle. There are people that have open relationships. Okay, fine, whatevs. Do you, Bill? But that is not, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. She's going to be a, she's going to be a mom. They're just getting away from shit. Luke, they need more wives so that they die. When they die, they repopulate their own planets. Are they going to go on their own planet? Are they making their own planet? Or is it going to be one that's in our solar system? Because I don't think there's enough room. Zeno, you can't be on the phone with him. Why would you be on the phone with him? Because he doesn't have his phone on him. He does not have his phone on him. No, no. No, no. Zeno! Your channel is blown up! I had to check to make sure it's you because now I'm nervous. Why are you on the phone with him? Because he's, he's at church and he didn't, his phone's in the car. Stop. Now you're going to, you're going to make me kind of yell at you. We're in the middle of talking about crazy nonsense. No, just go over, stay over there. Right. Chronic, she'd be a hoe. Most of them have to get younger and younger. He has 300 kids? I can't. How did we get started on this topic? Because now, now I'm all popped up. I don't know that much. That's just what I heard. They all get their own planet and they need more wives and kids to have the populous planet. Oh, so these assholes think that when they, they kick the bucket, they're going to be rewarded with a planet? How's he running run errands? He's at the men's conference. Did it end already? 
Oh, maybe it, maybe it ended and wasn't as long as he thought it would be. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for giving me the scoop on my on him. I turned my notifications off, so he and he knows that I do this, so I turn the notifications off so I don't get interrupted. Unless that's who was trying to kick me off the internet, he was trying to call me. Um, but congrats on your channel. I just I went over there to make sure it was you. You're blowing up over there. He does all kinds of if you like metal music, he does shorts and cover tunes and all that stuff. I saw you singing the other day. I was cracking up. So now what, listen, I'm from the, uh, the school that look at, you know, and everything about it. Thank you for telling me. Cause I thought he was going to, usually when he goes there, he's out all day. Good thing I made the bed. Um, I'm from the school of, if you're going to read, if you're going to believe anything that you read, start with your Bible. And that's definitely not my Bible. Populating people uh, for an, my own planet is not, it's, that's not in my Bible. Alyssa, seriously, he does. He does, uh, he does cover tunes over there. Like a TV shows. TV shows. Keeper, you got to fix your tag. You got to fix your, your, your tag so that it's at your name. Like mine's at Kimikaze. There you go. That's Zeno's channel. Hey, Kimmy. When we all die because we are not the chosen one, the words, they will take over the earth. That's why there are big preppers. It's hogwash. That is a cult. And that is a cat. So... I just don't understand. There's a lot of shit that I don't understand. There's a lot of shit that I don't understand. But And this is like, th this is something that is, I mean, it's, it's common. Moving on. Yeah. T-girl. I'm still baffled by this whole thing. Somebody has 300 children. children and how, how, you can't care for people like that. We just do all kinds of stuff. Um, hold on. Let me find something. Let me find something. Okay, I had to do that. Sorry. Sorry, duty called. Harley, what would you like to talk about? Is your cat food up to your standards? They they stopped making her cat food. I had to find a um they, I had to find another one and I was I was petrified cuz it's got to be grain free. And they like it, so that's good. There you go. Perch yourself. There you go. Good girl. All right. So let's see what else is in the people's, in the people's mags. <sighs> Thanks, Garrison, for getting us on that topic. And, you know, I learned something. You learned me on some things. Chris Brown is in court. Chris Brown, 30. Oh, my God. He's 34. 
was ordered to pay nearly $2 million to City National Bank after the bank sued him and fellow investigate, uh, investors, including producer The Dream. Nice, nice, nice. What's it called? I'm thinking of a gymnastics term and I can't. Uh, including the dream in 2023 for defaulting on a 2018 loan provided to finance two Popeyes. Brown must first bond within 30 days or the bank can work with the court collect and debt seize assets. Chris Brown. Now there's a couple of songs that I like by him, um, but I don't like his behavior. He, Chris Brown opened up, like, took out a loan to get two Popeye's restaurants and didn't pay. He's got the $2 million to do that, and he didn't even need the loan. Come on. Chris, get your shit together. They have a die, like, a, um, you know, the death. To, you know, a little thing. I don't want to read that because that's not... I just don't feel like reading that one. Um, Why would Chris Brown... First of all, why does Chris Brown want a Popeyes? He did beat up Rihanna. Why did he want... Why does he want a Popeyes? Like, he... Listen, if I hit it... Like, if I hit it big or hit the lottery... The last thing I want to do is chain myself to a restaurant. My husband keeps talking about opening up a restaurant. That's like one of his life goals. And I'm like, I don't know who's going to be working in a restaurant because I'm not. I'm not dealing with a restaurant. I ain't dealing with it. I don't want to deal with it. That's what happens. I put myself through school in, in a diner waitressing. I'm not doing that shit. I know. I know he beat up, but I do like the two songs that he, he has. I guess they won't be one of my intros. Alyssa, have a great day. Thanks for coming in. Hey, just keep it real. Oh, yeah, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with the Rihanna thing. And I don't care if he was young or anything like that. He was old enough to know. It's just you're old enough to know. Are you guys following the P. Diddy thing? Are you following the P. Diddy? Because that is a shit show that is unfolding rapidly. It's a lot. It is a lot of work. He, we're not getting a restaurant. If we hit the lottery, there's no way in the world I'm getting a restaurant. I'm going traveling. But then I have the cat, so I don't know how much traveling I would be doing. He's like, we can get an RV and we can put the cats. I said, do you want three cats in an RV? Where are we putting the uh, the little robot? Right, canine? Now listen. There's an hour-long documentary on that. We'll have to get to that too. Because I do want to go live more often. Susie, go, did you go out and come back in? So apparently P. Diddy is a big old scrub. He had a camp and he was, um, he was grooming people all those years ago when he first started. And it goes all the way back. They think he might be one of the people responsible for, uh, for Tupac. And the last one I saw is that they found like eight bodies that may or may not be his. Now I don't know. I'm not spreading. I'm not spreading rumors. That's just the one documentary I saw. Well, just keep it real. I hope you're having a beautiful Saturday. It's busy. It's miserable over here in Philadelphia. Um. Chronic, it's exactly like Jeff, uh, Jeff um, Epstein. Only it's P. Diddy in the music world and a bunch of rappers. Now, here's the thing. Everybody knows that I love 50 Cent. 
he is, he's my new LL Cool J. I love LL too. But 50 is over there on Instagram blowing all kinds of shit out of the water. And I am loving every part of it. I, uh, he's, he's taking care of business with his, um, his liquor people. The people that like supply, like the business people of the liquor, he's got like a brandy and a champagne thing. They like, they embezzled money and he's all over them. So he's dealing with that too. And he's breaking out Diddy News. It's all a big mess. It's all a big mess. And there are big names involved. Huge. Just keep it real. He's hilarious. I can't stand how funny he is. If you follow him on IG, there's no, you go to the comment section immediately. And if he calls someone out on IG and tags them, then you have to go there to read their comments because he has pages shut down. It's hilarious. I love it. My friend just sent me something. He's He'll be at, in Atlantic City on April 8th, I think. Who's Posty? I'm not cool. I just know who 50 Cent is. But there is definitely a lot of shit to go that's going down with pity. Uh, pity. I can't drink caffeine fast with uh, P. Diddy. It is a big story. Who is Posty? I don't know. Do you mean uh, Post Malone? Because I don't know who he is. Or, like, I mean, I know the name, but I don't know who he is. Isn't he the guy with all the tattoos on his face and stuff? Ta. Post Malone. Who is in prison? Uh, I think 59 cent, uh, 59, 50 cents son is in jail. He rioted people out or something like that. I don't know. But we gotta do, we gotta like follow up on that. Or maybe on a Saturday we'll talk about it. I'm, it's unfolding as we speak. There's a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit. Crazy shit. Like, when we found out about Epstein's Island, that's kind of like what Diddy's got going on. Yeah. I don't know who that is, Ramen. Are you, like, we're talking, it's Post Malone. Is that who you're talking about? 50 Cent is a good guy. He's a good guy. He'll call you out in a second. Green light, gang. I knew he was like, he dabbled in a bunch of different music. See, I just, I, honestly, I, I like get in the car in the morning. I'll see if I miss something. And I'll YouTube it. And then when I get to work, it's work mode. I'll put my Pandora on if I'm in the mood to listen to music. And it's usually Motown. Because that's really all that I can handle. I got to I gotta check out I Fall Apart. I'd play it, but then we'd get, you know, we'd get busted like we did the other night. And, uh, okay. Thanks, Tater. Um, do you remember the night I was watching a royal thing and they kicked me off? They told me, no, you're not using that. I'd play the song, but they keep me, they kicked me off. <laughs> ah, shizoit. All right, I have my I have my poll up. It's scheduled to go up tomorrow at two o'clock. Um, I made it the music category. Lucille Ball winner. What day would you guys like to do it? You want to do it Tuesday, Wednesday? I can't do Monday. Tuesday or Wednesday. 
and then Thursday because Friday I'm off. Hmm. Friday I'm off are like that's one of the holidays that are that my job uh pays us for. Good Friday, we're off and so I am going to be cooking most of my I thought oh, I'll, I'll prep on Thursday, but I forgot I'll be with you guys. Um, so I'll be prepping a lot of my Easter stuff Friday because Saturday is when, next Saturday is when I host. So I could do a short Catterday, but it would be earlier in the morning or we'd have to do, we'd, we, we just won't have it. I'll keep you posted on that. Because I got a lot to do on Thursday. It depends on how much I get done Friday. If I just got to put shit together. Um, if I get all my prep done on Friday. And I just got to throw everything together. Then I could do Catterday. Because that'll be fun. Um, what am I having? So I have to make potato salad. I don't know why I hate making potato salad. Everybody asks me for mine, but I just, I'm like, oh, can I make potato salad? I make it for Easter. And then once throughout the summer, I'll make it. Um, potato salad. I got to make my sauerkraut for my kibasi and sauerkraut. I already got the kibasi. I'm going to make a turkey because neither me or my husband eat the ham. I got to make the ham. I'm just going to get like a little boneless turkey breast. What else? I have a list somewhere. I got to make pickle dip. And then I have like cheeses and uh, grapes. I'm just going to, I'm not doing a full chartreuse board. I'm doing grapes, cheese, and crackers. I got devil, uh, deviled eggs. They're a pain in the ass. I mean, since I figured out I can use my piping bags that I use for my, my baking, they're not that bad. But it's just like, they're just... They're a pain in the ass. And then they go really fast. All that time you put into making deviled eggs and people eat them like they pop four like they didn't just eat two eggs. So, and then I got to bake. I think I'm going to bake my chocolate cake with peanut butter icing and a coconut cake. I got lots to do. But see, when I have to cook that much stuff, I'm really organized and it doesn't take me long. So if I prep on Friday, then, uh, and I just have to put everything together. You're okay making deviled eggs? I it, It's just a pain in the ass. Harley, I thought you went to go sleep with your brother and sister. In my potato salad, I do. This is, that's why everybody asks me for it. It's not healthy at all. That's why I only make it once a year. But I do put a dozen eggs in it. The, you know, the egg whites and the, the yolk. A pound of bacon. I cut up the bacon, I cube it before I start frying it. And I make it like almost burnt. Like it is almost burnt. And then I take the whole entire thing and I pour it into like grease and everything into the potato salad. Uh, it's like I'm doing five pounds. So I'll do almost a half, a half of um, an onion. Not the whole half. But really, I, I do it really, uh, I dice it really fine. Mustard and mayonnaise. So there you go. And that's why everybody likes it, because I include my grease. The lamb butter. We still haven't found it, Tay. We have not found the lamb. Just keep it real. This is, um, that's Harley. 
and she enjoys climbing the chair and acting a fool. And I just, I've surrendered. I, I've surrendered. It's why I need to, you know, I can't have nice things because, you know, cats. No celery in my potato salad, no. Exactly, Susie. Yeah, she's pretty. She's cute. And she's always up my butt, so. Bell Bell! That's okay. We really haven't had one subject. We were talking about polygamy and potato salad. I have eight people coming, and then the next day my brother is coming over. My brother, it just he doesn't want to be here on Saturday with everyone. He's going through stuff. So he wants to come over Sunday. So, but I always make stuff and I told everybody bring containers so they could take stuff home because I'm not doing, e I'm not, I'm doing Easter on the day before. His aunt has obligations on major holidays. So we, um, I want to make sure that the family stays together and, and at least is able to celebrate holidays. So I, did, I host the day before. And then I got to put all of my baskets together. I just bought more candy. I'm done with the candy. I'm absolutely done with the candy. I got candy for the house. I got candy for the baskets. I'm not going and getting... I, listen, this is terrible. All right. So my mom and her boyfriend... Ha, this is going to sound horrible. But... Half of the people that are coming to the house don't have teeth. They have dentures. And I'm sitting there like, oh, I got to get them jelly beans. And um, like I was going to do gummy bears. Like, I can't do that. So I just got to do chocolates. I can't. I got to stay away from the caramels. And that's not right. You can't really eat that stuff. Their teeth will fall out. Like, and they already fell out, but their teeth will fall out. You know, like eating candy. I can't do that. So I just got to get chocolates. Isn't that bad? Is that bad? Is that nice? Not nice to say. I mean, I have dentures. They're not in a pizza box thrown out. You don't cook. The thing that's going to take me the most time is my sauerkraut. Oh, I got to do the baskets. Um, Tater, I have everything. I already bought everything. I have the baskets. I have, I have everything. I don't have Easter grass because I hate it. You find it, at, you know, you, you, you find it for years to come. So I was going to just put tissue paper in the bags. Um... What was I getting ready to say? Hussy. Don't be telling me what I need and don't need. All right? Coming over here, uh, you know, an hour and a half late and you're going to break my balls. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I get, yeah, I make it. <laughs> They don't. They have dentures. They'll fall right out of their head. They'll be sitting there eating a Starburst and they'll come right out. Hi, Layton. You did make a live. So, what am I going to do? I'll just give them. I'll just give them chocolates. Did you listen to my charcuterie board story? I'm not making a whole one. And did you get your channel? Because I can't find your channel. What's going on now? I know it's you because you broke my balls. Where is your channel? Drop your, drop your, um, ah. Drop your, can you drop your channel? Cause I went on and, uh, again, you just made one. You're on this one. Is this the one that you're going to tell everybody? 
Let everybody know where you are now. This guy gets his channel taken all the time. Get David on me. I ain't scared. Well, because I need you to drop your channel. I never know where you are. Oh, thanks, Cedar. I know, T-Girl. He finally decides to come in. I'm more excited about Linton being here. Linton Kitten. Everybody needs to behave. Listen, if you don't know who Hussey is, he's a big mouth over there in New York City that just makes fun of everyone. Okay? You go to his channel for abuse. Literally. Thanks, Just Keep It Real. That's how we want to keep it over here. I do stupid shit with technology. And, you know, on Thursdays we do documentaries. Thank you for coming in. You had a flashback. <laughs> That's all. Well, it's true. That's right. That's all it is. We have a creator over in the DC that says, that's it and that's all. Oh, no, it is a bun. It is tons of fun. Oh, well, are they going to, are they going to catch this one live? So when he goes on, he'll tell everybody on YouTube that he's over on Twitch. So you gotta, you know. I I had a bagel this morning and I kept it down. So thank you for asking. I was I was down with the sickness. I hate it. K9, it doesn't last long. His channels don't last long, unfortunately. And it's just because people break his balls. It's not anything he's doing. Yeah, that's hussy, hussy. That's the hussy. Thank you. Yes, Tater, you have to keep me on my toes because I'm an idiot. We all know that. We were talking about you earlier. We were talking about all the drama that's going on. We have, um, well, your stuff, uh, the Nags Meltdown, Naked and Laughing, and uh, then we have Bombshell, Bot, and Michelle. Now, Bot and Bomb have been struck, so they don't have, they're not on YouTube. They, they've been put on a timeout. <sighs> oh, Hussie, I'll be in Jill's uh, thing tomorrow. Don't get us started on the Royals. Bella, what's going on? Do you want to share? I don't know. Hussey's like 100 years old. So I think he's. Um, he's the oldest in the class right now. Tea girl. All right. Go make brunch. I will see you soon. I'll see you in a chat or, you know, I don't know. Did we decide on what day we're going to do this? Tuesday or Wednesday? Does it matter? K9, but you have to, you got to go out and do stuff. Oh, where are the goats? Where, where is this, this, uh, where's Mr. Sox, uh, 
sibling, I didn't say. I'm not a hundred. Have a great one to you, girl. And I swear by the end of the week, and I'm going to email you. I want to know where this road trip is, too. You take Coumadin because I have blood clot in 29 and on her way out. My blood is really thick, so. Ah. Well, that's good that they found that because that's, you know, a lot of people need that. I'm in dentistry. I know we have to tell people to stop taking it three days prior to your appointment. Who, I'm 35? Girl? No. I'm almost 52. September, I'm going to be 52 years old. I am. Have a great day, Chronic. I will see you soon. Try to make it to the bank. What time is it? Girl, you better hurry up. Bank hours on for on Saturday or till 12. Only you. Yeah, I can see her chat getting getting pummeled with uh with you know who coming on. I fell asleep last night too. I mean I I was listening and I just, you know. That's what we do. We waste gas on our road trips. What the hell is an FFA barn? Well, yeah, the haters are definitely going to hate, but she's going to have, like, all eyes on her tomorrow. But, hey. F-A-F-O. Uh, Linton, the drama here is, so I follow, I keep an eye on what's going on with Chantel because I know she's, she's boring. Um, and I'm kind of up to date on what's going on with Naked and Laughing. Uh, we have Hussy Drama. And, well, it's not, it's, Hussy's just kind of part of the story. It's really Negs in DC, uh, that are the drama. And, like, I really don't, I, I just know about the, uh, Sam and Yava thing through Gigi and Hussy. So that part of girl world and just like keeping my eyes on everything. And I'm mostly over in the DC now with bombshell, best of truths. I am, I follow, uh, JJJ and, um, Flava. I follow them. And there's a couple of clip channels. They have really great clip channels. Like, I'm here for it. Uh, Just Keep It Real has a channel. So that's what I'm doing. The DC, we're trying to get rid of scammers that scam online and dry bag and stuff like that. Like, literally just play on people's emotions. And um, let's see. Bombshell goes in discords and asks people behind the scenes for money. But she asked five people for money for the same exact thing, you know, like heaters or water bills. She She's always constantly got her electric cut off and needs electric money. Those kind of scammers. That like every three minutes, their cash app, PayPal, Venmo is dropped. And she yells at people in the chat, 
you know, light up chalkboards and stuff like that. I, it's, it's all just a mess. Country Folk Store. Well, Belle Belle, I hope you get really good news on Mon or Wednesday or Monday when you call. Yeah, life with mommy. Like, I just obviously see here's the thing with that. Like, channels that have worked and grown organically and, you know, whatever their whatever their content is, you know, they grown organically. Um, and they're able to have the memberships and, you know, be monetized and stuff like that. Like, there's nothing wrong with, you know, memberships or anything like that. I have my, I don't talk about it. Like I, I say in the beginning, if you want to become a member, become a member. That's great. So... But I don't talk about it and like bitch and, and push it. It's just, it is what it is. If you want to hop on the link, there it is. But I'm not dropping cash apps and, and Amazon wish lists and all that. Like if you want to, whatever, that's what it, what it, it is what it is. But these people that are constantly pushing it, like buy, Oh, if I make, you know, if I make a certain amount of money, I don't have to door dash and I could stay on longer. What? No, that's just not right. You just go everywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's, it just, I got, I got, hooked up into the DC because Chantel was so boring and I started following this one chick that was cooking drunk and then I wound up over here and there's some really great people in the chats like you go over there to do the chats Linton here's the thing like in girl world, FFG, she doesn't ask for anything and she doesn't have members on. She doesn't have any members, but she makes, she makes very good money over there and she has a solid channel. That's what she does. So, but she also works like this. YouTube is not her full-time gig. She doesn't rely on it. So, I mean, look, it, it whatever. I, I just, I don't know. I, I have a problem with if I told you guys like, oh, you know, I'm really late on my on my mortgage. I'm going to get ready to lose the house. And everybody starts like feeling bad for me, giving me money. I'd be I I couldn't be like that. First of all, we pay our bills, but I could not do that. I, I literally could not get up here and do that. It, it, no, bombshell is disgusting. And in girl world, we don't really have those kinds of creators like we do over here in the DC. I don't know who Malice Black is. Oh, Future Farmers of America. I know you have the bunnies and the goats. So we have all different kinds of conversations in here. And that's why I love like when you guys come in, we can just all chat with one another. What an update on that. Yeah, we got that over here too. They need laptops. They're pawning their laptops. They're like, you know, she went so far as to, uh, she was so broke. And she makes money on her channel, like she has memberships, and people give her cash apps and super chats. She went so far, she was so broke that she went and put her car that was paid outright by subs, 
she went and put a, a title loan on it and lost the car because she defaulted on it. K9 Charlie's got a whole big old farm going on. You got to come over to JJJ. It's a good time over there. It's a good time. Do you know who Jenny Jen Jen is? She gets all like she's got a really good crowd in her in her chat. And she trolls people. Like that's her whole thing. She's like, "I'm a troll." I troll people. But she's one of the main reasons why Molly Go Lightly was shut down. She got her shut down. Because she's a scammer and a tragedy pimp. Now, if my husband was doing errands, why is he still not here? That's what I want to know. Hey, 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 hey. You can never have too many cats over there, canine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Like, that. her intro is really good. Her intro is definitely good. But bottom line is, is that she has a great channel, and she points out the, uh, she points out the scammers. If you hop over here, I'm going to, uh, Linton, if you hop over, like it's, we're in the middle of big drama right now, but you, it'll, you'll be easy to catch up on because these idiots that are, um, that we're following, they're repetitive, but they're just, you know, you'll end the chat. will you'll catch up. She, she doesn't have like 3,000 people in her chat like FFG, but she gets, she gets like a lot. She's a, she gets almost a thousand people. Can't troll a troll. That's right. Can't troll a troll. I'm not good at trolling. I just pay attention. And then I get my ass in hot water because I, I, you know. I start liking someone and I'm like, oh, you know, follow them and just naive. I'm an internet naive and, you know, naive person. Until I'm not. Yeah, I don't know how she keeps up either. Thanks, Linton. Look, guys, we got someone else involved. We got someone else coming over to enjoy the shenanigans. But it is, there is a lot going on over there. There is definitely a lot going on. And she does every Sunday night and Wednesday night is her thing. She does, she goes on like around 9 o'clock. I mean, I don't know, 9 o'clock EST. I don't know where you are. We recruited it for JJJ over here today. Anyway, I really am worrying about, like, where is my husband? If the conference wasn't as long as he thought, I think they only had one speaker. That's why it wasn't as long. And he was running errands talking to his brother. Why is he still not home? Twenty cats is a lot to feed, but you fed them, and I love you for that. We all love you for that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Honda's always being told to shut up. Like he's the, he's the sentimental. Um, 
he's the sentimental guy, you know, and just like he, he gets wound up every once in a while when he's on a rant. And Vinny is just like, he just interrupts. He doesn't care. He just wants to say what he's got to say. And then like the, it's JJJ on a panel and she always has Vinny and Hondo with her. And Vinny lives in Australia, but he just comes in and he just overrides the whole conversation. Doesn't care who's talking. He just says what he's got to say. And he's always getting yelled at. Jenny's always yelling at the boys. Always. Okay. She's always yelling at those boys. But Vinny does. He just, like, whenever, you know, he's got to put his opinion in. He doesn't care who's talking. Doesn't care. He's got to say what he's got to say. I can't chew that piece of ice. But I love it over there. That's why I was really upset about what happened a couple of weeks ago. Because I'm like, you're guilty by association most of the time. And you guys still never told me. Am I able to do... How do you do polls in here? How do you do polls? My duck! Oh my gosh, have a great weekend. That's fun. Wherever you go, be safe and have lots of laughs. Thanks for popping in to say hi. Tater, it has been wild. I guess I'm just going to figure out, since you guys are the ones that usually come in, I guess I'm just going to have to figure out when we're doing it. So I'm pulling in an executive decision, and I'm saying we're going to do this Tuesday. Tuesday, we'll do Lucille Ball. Tomorrow, the poll comes out for the music category. Jenny, scared, share your screen. Is that what I, Vinny says? Because I, I, I don't know what that means. Um, so the poll comes out tomorrow around two o'clock so you can vote. It's a music category. Um, there's two people that I wouldn't mind winning, but it's up to you. It's up to you guys. Uh, I mean, I was wrong with, uh, with Lucy. So Tuesday we do Lucy and then Thursday we'll do whoever's chosen tomorrow or, you know, I do it. I'll let everybody know who won on Tuesday. Does that sound good? Because I want to do it, like, you know, I, I don't want to do, not that it matters, because everybody's always bouncing from chat to chat anyway. Shut up, Hondork. Tater, you really are. Ramen, does that sound good? Tuesday and Thursday? Because like I said, I got all kinds of shit I got to do Friday. So there's no way I could do a Friday night. I'll probably just be icing my cake around 8 o'clock. That's what I got to do. I got to bake first and let those cool off while the sauerkraut is boiling. Because that takes the longest. That takes like two hours to do. The kibasi is already cut. I just got to pull that out of the freezer. The ham's going to be in the fridge. That just goes in the oven. The turkey will just go in the oven. It's potato salad, sauerkraut, my deviled eggs, and the cakes. Oh, I don't really, I guess I don't really have that much. I guess I really don't have that much, huh? I just got excited. I just got really excited because I really don't have that much. So maybe I will be able to hang out with you guys next Saturday. If not, then I'll let you know. But if I'm not, then you understand why I'm not here. 
if I'm not here on Saturday, maybe I'll pop up like afternoon on Easter. Cause I noticed that during the holidays, like after all the, after all the hubbub and everything like that, people are bored during the afternoon. So I don't know. I'll see what's going on. If I get a feeling people are bored, then I'll pop on live, but we'll just have chit chat. We won't have like a documentary or anything like that. I got just, I really just got excited that I'm not going to have, I uh, like, I'll have to prep my vegetables for the, I make, you guys, I'm such a dork. So my husband has to go Saturday morning and he's got to get me a bread bowl from Panera. And then I cut that out and I put my pickle dip in there. And then I get a baguette and I cut like a little piece of the ends off and I make bunny ears. So it looks like a bunny. And then I put the ve the vegetables like carrot, celery, and cucumbers around the um, freaking fabulous. I put the potato or the pickle dip inside the little bowl, and then the vegetables around it. And it looks like a little bunny in the grass because I put the celery on the bottom. Uh, so I just have to prep that, put that together that morning, and. Yeah, I'll cut up all the cheese and stuff like that and it'll just be ready just to be thrown on the on the cheese board. I know freaking I don't know where everybody goes, but I come on like ten o'clock EST. So I'm glad to see you. I'm very glad to see you. I hope you have a great Saturday. We're just wrapping up here. I need to find my husband. He's MIA. Now, like Mud Duck, before, like, seriously, I literally was going to say, like, something. I didn't have Gumby. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have put Gumby, but I really did think it was a toy. And I'm like, she's always in the kitchen. I'm thinking it's like probably like a ladle or something like that. <sighs> Friggin' Tater coming out with Gumby. I was like, what the? We've just been talking all kinds of stuff over there. Catching people up in different communities about people, different communities. Um, and I don't know if you're around. I think I've seen you in the documentaries. Uh, I pulled an executive decision. Lucille Ball, since I missed Thursday, is going to be Tuesday. And then I have a music category poll coming out tomorrow uh, at 2 o'clock. So everybody can get, you know, put their votes in on who we watch on Thursday, but it'll be music. So it'll be a song or uh, a singer. Are they? Yeah, they're all singers. I'm so glad that like, you know, I, she goes in the discord and puts that stuff down because it is fun. Well, we don't have a boat. Um, and usually if he, if he's, my husband is one that goes to the grocery store. Like he does grocery shopping. He always gets stuff that I'm like, well, I needed this instead, but I'm glad you bought rice pudding. Thanks for buying that. And I don't have any room in the freezer because I have all this stuff in there for, oh, that's the other thing I might make because I'm like, my freezer is full of homemade pierogies. So I might just bang those out and get rid of them so I can make room in the freezer for stuff because I'm tired of moving the, the pierogies around. So I might just fry those up and have those as well. I could throw them in the crock pot and keep them warm. Great. I got to write a list list time. I usually put it on my phone. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. We've, I've, I've sucked up your Saturday morning and I love each and every one of you for spending time with me. 
Um, Harley says thank you. And I will be back on Tuesday. I'm sure I'll see you in chat. You know how it goes. But I definitely appreciate everybody coming in um, for you becoming members and being a part of everything. I will see you guys on Tuesday. If there's any updates on the Royals, then I will, sorry, my dog. I will um, be on to let everybody know with the breaking news. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.